I love the smell of hot rod in the morning. This is how the crazy NF mosquito hot end starts my day, pun intended, and starts. <laughs> and if a while ago I was intrigued with your clones, they threw some hot rod in there and converted me. I approve. Wink wink. In my window shopping spree, I found the Crazy NF Mosquito clone, but I also found the Iron Man Crazy NF Mosquito clone in Hot Rod Red. And since the last time I was solving intergalactic legislative problems and getting the FTC in line, now I will just focus on pimping a 3D printer with this Hot Rod Red. Psych! No, I'm just gonna talk your ear to death about it. On a close inspection on the Mosquito Prime and the clone, the clone looks better. The clone comes exactly with the same claims as the Mosquito Prime. 85% less heat transfer, temperature to 450 degrees Celsius, and one hand nozzle changing. I mean, the clone does it word for word as the original Mosquito, at least in the description. We shall see the stories of decommissioned ones by the wayside or not. They also have in the description a little bit of a warning telling you that this is not a high flow nozzle and the nozzle goes from 0.1 millimeters to about 0.5. It's not like one of those one millimeter nozzles. <clears throat> it is a bit staggering that they just blatantly almost copy and paste the same features in the description. This is the time where I would like to have two identical 3D printers and take the two mosquitoes prime and clone and put them at work on some 3D prints. Then swap the mosquito and reprint the same prints and compare them. And after that I would do a test for durability of the actual manufacturing processes and see which one starts to fail first. That my friends would be a very interesting venture. But the question is how do you put the same stresses of a few months or years of work in just a few days? And this is what I came up with. Heat them up from 450 degrees Celsius all the way to melting points to see which fails first and at which temperature it starts to fail. Repeat the process with multiple parts to establish a baseline of similarities in the degradation patterns. And if that's not enough, heat them up and then spray them with liquid nitrogen to induce these stresses faster. Maybe throw some salt and water in there, but everything needs to be quantified. The times, the temperatures, the amounts of nitrogen sprayed, and so on. And I think we have the makings of our first mind experiment, because unfortunately I cannot afford all these parts and also destroying them. And maybe for the average user that may never need to use these marginal specs may not matter. The actual Mosquito Prime and clone may work for years before breaking down. But let me tell you that this would be a hell of a fun month or two to just dig into them. Just like those people that like to smash things and look inside. There is something attractive about the little chaos. But until then I be Dean mon ami Sferiol and adieu. Ah, oh, also, I do appreciate when people keep me in check about my errors. Thanks again. Kevin.